Hello everyone, so today I thought that it would be very fun to rank all of Anna Grande's studio albums before I get into it. I do have a couple of disclaimers, if you want to skip right over those and get into the video, I will have timestamps down below for you to do so. Also, if you want to know where I rank certain things, I will have timestamps for those as well. And let's get into it. So first of all, this is just my opinion. If you disagree with me, that is fine. I'd like to hear where you would rank certain albums. I do have a second channel if you want to see more of me, first link down below in the description. I'm going to be reading off of my phone. This is just studio albums, so Christmas and Chill and Sweetener Live will not be on this. And also, this is really tough for me because I do enjoy her work and now let's get into it so at number six i'm going to have yours truly i think in comparison to her other work this is just the weakest album but i do enjoy it i just don't come back to it very often which is why it is here on the list i think that the way is a great song right there is a serve and now we are into my top three so my favorite song on this album is going to be loving it i just really enjoy this song next is going to be daydreaming and lastly almost is never enough which i think is a perfect collaboration and now we are in my fifth choice, which is going to be My Everything. So I think that this is definitely an improvement from yours truly. I think that this is a lovely album. She has great collaborations on this. And my top three on this album, number one is going to be Break Free. The bridge just honestly gives me a reason to live. Every time I listen to it, I feel refreshed. And it just brings something out of me. And I really do love this song. Next is going to be Just a Little Bit of Your Heart. Fun fact, this song was written by Harry Styles. I absolutely adore it. I think that this is probably one of her better um, vocal performances on the album. Of course, she sounds amazing on every track this is just one of my um favorite vocal performances on the album and now lastly we're going to be on to my everything i think you can really feel the pain on this her vocals again are incredible and the ending vocals on the song are really my favorite and now we're into top four i know people are going to disagree with me on this but it's going to be thank you next so the reason why it's here i really do enjoy the album i just feel like some of the songs are underwritten for example bad idea and makeup in my opinion they're repetitive and they don't really go anywhere for me personally i think nasa is a really fun song i don't get the hate for that and now we're into my top three songs so I have Ghost in at number one. This song is hauntingly beautiful. It feels so insightful. I'm very glad that she decided to put this one on the album. Next, Break Up With Your Girlfriend on board. A bot, plain and simple, guaranteed fun. The ending vocals and the way that she layers her vocals, my favorite part of the song. And lastly, Imagine. I think that this was a great opener. I really love the whistle notes. I think that they're very pretty. And now we are into my top three Ariana Grande albums. So at number three, I have Positions. So I really enjoy the harmonies and the instrumentation on here. One of my favorite things about Ariana Grande's music is the way that she layers her vocals and the harmonies that she does. And I think that they just really make her stand out as an artist. And I really do appreciate those attentions to detail. And this album feels very cohesive to me. And I love the R&B sound that she decided to take on this album. It's just her doing what she does best again the lyrics aren't the strongest on this album for example 630 nasty 34 35 definitely aren't the best lyrically but they actually go somewhere for me and i enjoy them which is more important so i can forget that and now i think that positions was a great choice for a lead single it has a lot of replay value and this entire album just feels really refreshing to me i think over time i'm going to enjoy this album a lot more than i did thank you next maybe i'll be wrong but right now i just really enjoy playing this album and i think that being so refreshing is a great quality that a work can have and the second that i heard shut up i just knew that i was in for a treat i really did just the way that the strings like went together and uh, i just really loved that she chose that as the opening track and i noticed whenever i was listening to off the table her collaboration with the weekend he says i can love you harder than i did before which is a reference to the song that they did on her album my everything which is called love you harder and i thought that that was cool and she said in an interview that she likes to reference her past works also another example of that is in her song ghost and she says a whole lot of baggage and then in her song pov she says all my baggage fading safely which someone put it out on twitter and i thought that that was also a really nice reference to her past work as well and i think and off the table her voice sounds really great with abel's love this song safety net is going to be my favorite collaboration on this album you just have to be in a moment to really appreciate safety net i don't like to be doing anything while listening to it i just have to sit there i have to feel it and the way that their voices go together i never would have imagined um, everything melding so perfectly together and so now onto the song that I don't like. I don't like Motive. Um, every time I listen to it, I just don't really find a sense of enjoyment. I just, eh, it just doesn't really do anything for me. Maybe over time, I will grow to enjoy the song. But right now, I'm just not really getting the hype. A lot of people love this song. I don't see it. And next, my hair is incredible. The whistle notes, oh my gosh. Like, just when I thought that she couldn't top herself with vocals, she does it yet again. What an incredible vocalist. And now we're into my top three. So my favorite song on this is going to be POV. I think that this is a great choice for a closer. I really do adore it. 
obvious another great song and lastly love language and what i also love about love language is that there's the song and then there's a little bit at the end which makes a great transition into the positions which makes the song and context sound even better in the album which i didn't know that that was possible for the a great song to sound even better in the album but she really did that and i just really do enjoy the song and now we are at top two. At number two, I'm going to have Dangerous Woman. The reason why it's here is I was listening to all the albums for this video. And whenever I was listening to Dangerous Woman, I was just like, wow, this album slaps even harder than I remember. Like this album was just hit after hit after hit. And I was just really, really enjoying myself. And after doing that and having some evaluation, I was like, Dangerous Woman has to be top two. Just the way that she went on this album, it has to be there. Like she did exactly what she needed to do. Moonlight is very nice. It's a great opener. It's very light. And I appreciate that. Side to side is the ideal collab. I really enjoy Nikki verse be all right and i don't care have grown on me a lot and now we are into my top three so greedy fun great song to drive to really enjoyed and just the excitement i get when listen to it hasn't dwindled still really look forward to hearing the song next into you this song i just loved it ever since i heard it for the first time just something very addicting about it and lastly it's going to be touch it and it was really hard for me to choose the top three it's bound to change a lot of the songs in the album have grown on me the more that i've listened to them but this is just kind of how i'm feeling now for all my top threes and all the albums and now we're on to my favorite album which is going to be sweetener so i just really adore this album ever since it came out i remember listening to it there's just something very special about this album i just have a connection to it in some way that i can't really describe and i love it i can completely understand why someone would put dangerous woman above this because i think objectively dangerous woman is a better album but sweetener is just my favorite and the one that i enjoy the most so that is why sweetener is here so I don't like Blaze and The Light is Coming. I tried to listen to them again for this video and I couldn't even make it. I skipped the songs and yeah, every time I listen to the song, I go from track one to track four and I finish it and I enjoy myself every single time songs i don't necessarily get the hate for borderline sweetener and successful they're just guaranteed fun and i really enjoy the songs i don't understand what the bashing is like just say you're boring and go and i think that the singles were really great choices for this album i don't understand why people hate on the production like this album won a grammy for a reason my favorite songs on here are going to be rem or rem i think is how you pronounce it i really like the bbc version i think that she outdid herself like her live vocals are truly spectacular and just the way that she sings it on there is amazing like she finds a way to breathe fresh air in the song and make it a little bit different but also keep the things that we like about it and i just really enjoy that version get well soon vocals are impeccable i just adore it and also good night and go is just a serve plain and simple i also really like better off even though it did not make my top three and i just think that this album is so much better than thank you next i remember thank you next came out and everyone was dragging sweetener and they were saying oh sweetener sucked and thank you next is so much better and i just really disagree with that opinion of course everyone's entitled their opinion but that's just my take on it and that is my ranking of the album of course my opinion is bound to change this is just how i'm feeling right now and that is it thank you guys so much for watching the video if you enjoyed it please be sure to give it a like you can also the red subscribe button right down below you can have the bell next to that to be notified every time i post the second channel down below if you guys want to check me out i also have a twitter and an instagram as well thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one